Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Sanikshya channel. This is your Ishwari ma'am. Students in this video, we are going to learn six super tricks from IUPAC nomenclature. Students here, I have already given uh, two questions which has already appeared in previous year examination. So here the first question is the IUPAC nomenclature of. So the compound is given, you have to write IUPAC name of this compound. So this question appeared in the year 2010. Second question is the IUPAC name of. Again a compound is given, you have to write the IUPAC name of this compound. So this appeared in the year 2009. So students, uh, this is very simple question which appeared in the examination. So I will show you the trick. After learning the trick, you will be easily able to uh, write the name of this structures within 30 seconds. So let us learn the trick first and then we will name this compound. So we will see the first trick. So this is the first trick here. When substituents are present at equal position. So see here. Uh, always remember that halogens, you know what are halogens, isn't it? That is chloro group, bromo group, iodo group and fluoro group. So all these are called as halogens. So always halogens will be substituents and also alkyl group. Alkyl group means methyl group, CH3 group, C2H5 group. So this will be substituents. So here you can see this is the parent chain. Select the longest chain. So when you select the longest chain, here you can see a methyl group is present and a ethyl group is present. So these two are the substituents. So see here when substituents are present at equal position. So when I start numbering the carbon from this side, 1, 2, 3. So methyl group is getting number 3. Suppose if I number from this side 1, 2, 3. Ethyl group is getting number 3. So both are present at equal position. Then from which side you have to start numbering. So always remember here the trick is you have to follow alphabetical order. Alphabetical order when substituents are present at equal position position. So here methyl group will start with M methyl and this is ethyl group. So alphabetically this will come first and this will come second. So you have to give preference to ethyl group. So start numbering from this side 1, 2, this is third carbon 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 7 carbon means you know it is heptane. So here at position 3 you have ethyl group. So you will write 3 ethyl then 5 methyl and 7 carbon atom therefore it will be heptane. So this will be the IUPAC name of this compound. So here the trick is if substituents are present at equal position then you have to follow alphabetical order. So this is trick number one. So we will see the second trick here. The second trick is when double bond and substituent are present at different position. So you can see here there is a double bond and this is the substituent. So they are present at different positions. See suppose if I select this parent chain. So if I number from the side 1, 2. So double bond is getting number 2. Suppose and uh, bromine, uh, bromo group is getting number 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So double bond is getting number 2 and bromo substituent is getting number 4. Suppose if I number from the side 1, 2, 3, 4. So double bond is getting number 2 and substituent is getting number 1. So always see to that double bond is getting number 2 and also the substituent is getting the least number. So therefore we have to number from this side. So 
here at position 1 you have bromo group so you will write 1 bromo and then here 4 carbon atoms are present therefore it will be but so you it will be but at position 2 you have double bond so but 2 e so this will be the IUPAC name of this compound so always preference should be given to double bond and also to the bromo group so if I, if you number from this side both are getting the preference trick number 3 so trick number 3 will be when double bond and substituent are present at equal position what you have to do so see here there is a double bond and here there is a substituent see here if I number from this side 1 2 3 4 double bond is getting number 1 and bromo group is getting number 4 so when double bond and bromo group are present students always remember that double bond will get more preference than substituents that is bromo group here so give preference to double bond when both are present at equal position so if I number from this side double bond will get number 1 if I number from this side bromo group is getting number 1 so that is they are present at equal position so when they are present at equal position give preference to double bond so here 1 2 3 4 so at position 4 you have bromo group so it will be 4 bromo and then 4 carbon atoms therefore it will be but at position 1 you have double bond so but 1 e so this will be the name of the compound so trick number 4 is when double bond and triple bond are present at equal position see here if I number from this side 1 2 double bond is getting 2 if I number from this side 1 2 triple bond is getting number 2 so both are present at equal position so when both are present at equal position again here the trick will be remember that double bond will get preference over triple bond so this is the trick so remember this one double bond will get preference over triple bond so you have to number from this side 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 carbon atoms therefore it will be hex and at position 2 you have e and at position 4 you have i so you know that if it is double bond it will be e and if it is triple bond it will be i so this is the trick which you have to remember and then coming to fifth trick when double bond and triple bond are present at different positions so see here double bond is present at number 2 if you number from the side 1 2 at number 2 you have double bond suppose if I number from the side 1 2 3 triple bond is getting number 3 so they are at different positions so if there are different positions the trick what you have to follow here is lowest locant rule lowest locant rule meaning is the substituent or the double bond or the triple bond should get the least number so if I number from this side the double bond is getting least number as 2 if I number from uh, from this side that is if I number from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so double bond is getting number 2 and triple bond is getting number 4 suppose if I number from this side 1 2 3 that is triple bond is getting number 3 4 5 and double bond is getting number 5 so see here the locus, uh, lowest number will be 2 so we have to number from this side that is from this side lowest locant rule means the lowest number should be given to the substituents or the double or the triple bond so you have to number from this side so here there are 7 carbon atom therefore it will be hept at position 2 you have in and at position 4 you have in so here we are not giving preference to double or triple bond we are going with lowest locant rule that is the substituent to, should get the smallest number so if you number from this side you can see this lowest number you are getting if you are numbering from this side the number what you are getting is 3 therefore don't number from this side <clears throat> then trick number 6 is when double and two substituent when double bond 
and two substituents are present okay at equal position what you have to do so here one example i have taken you can see here there is a double bond and you have two substituents see if i uh, number from this side 1 2 3 so chloro group is getting number 3 if i number from this side 1 2 3 bromo group is getting number 3 so substituents are present at equal position so whether i have to number from this side that is clockwise or whether i have to number from anti clockwise so here the trick what you have to follow is again alphabetical order alphabetical order see here this is bromo group so bromo starts with b and this is chloro group which starts with c so alphabetically bromo will come first so bromo group is getting the lowest number so number like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so at position 3 you have bromo group so it will be 3 bromo and then you have 6 chloro and this is cyclohexane so cyclo hex and position 1 you have in 1 in so this is the iupac name of this compound so students this is the trick so now using this trick i think you will be able to solve this two questions isn't it see here double bond and triple bond is present at different positions so what you need to do follow lowest locant rule for this and write the name of this compound in the comment box let me check whether you are able to solve this question and here again you can see double bond and triple bond are present at equal position so when double bond and triple bond are present at equal position what is the trick you are going to follow double bond should get preference over triple bond so again follow this rule that is this trick and then write your answer in the comment box so let me see how many of you are getting correct answer for both this structures so students i hope this video will be very useful to you and if you find it very useful you can subscribe the channel and also i want you to um spread this uh, video to your friends i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye